Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel or welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria and I'm so happy that you took some time to stop by today. So today I'm here with a fun tag video. I have not done a tag video in so long, so it's very, very fun to do. And this one is called the Luxury Lockdown Tag. So this was created by Nick J. Snell, who I absolutely love. He's also um, an Aspinall of London fan. I will link Nick's channel below. And I was tagged by my friend, the lovely Styled by Gwenny. She had a, she had great choices um, in her tag video, so I really wanted to have fun with this as well. The concept is that your bags all get locked away for a year, and so you get an unlimited budget to choose five bags to last you the year, and then you get your bags back as of January 1st, 2023. <laughs> So as heartbroken as I would be that my bags would all get locked away um, because I do really, really love my collection, even though it's not the most glamorous and expensive collection of all time. I absolutely adore my pieces. I can't say that I would complain if we gave me an unlimited budget and said, choose five bags. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Um, so I had fun with this one. I really did. Now there is an exception. You cannot buy anything from the two brands that you already have the most of in your collection. So in my case, that would be Aspinall of London. I have a few bags from them, uh, Louis Vuitton um, and Coach. So I'm staying away from, from those three brands and I'm really going big. So might as well go big or go home if you're doing this kind of tag, right? So if you'd like to see what I chose, stick around. Okay, so my number one bag is this beautiful Prada Clio in satin with the applique. How beautiful is this bag? Now I already have a Prada Clio um, in nylon and it has a patent leather strap. It's really, really, really great bag. I absolutely love it. Um, it's tiny, it's super tiny, but you can still fit quite a bit in there. And this bag is that exact size, um, but this one has an adjustable strap and it's just bejeweled. It has so much personality. And it's not a bag I normally would have been drawn to at all, uh, but I've been seeing it all over YouTube, right? Styled by Gwenny is obsessed with her Prada re-edition uh, with crystals on it. And I realized, you know, it's it's a bag you really can wear and, and, and you can rock an outfit with that. So I think this would be a really fun going out bag, um, date night bag. I just, I think it's really cool. Even just a just because bag when you're wearing, you know, jeans and a leather jacket, this could totally look cool. Um, so I love this bag. And so I had to put it in this tag, number one. Number two is my work in school bag. And I went for Fendi here. And I went for this beautiful Fendi tote. And it is gorgeous. It's the medium size. It has medium or large. I found the large to be really, really massive. So I decided to go for medium in this one. And I love the tortoise shell top handle. It's really beautiful. Yes, I feel a little bit like this is extremely flashy for me to go to school with. <laughs> I like to have understated bags when I go to school. Um, but hey, if I'm if I have to choose a bag for work in school, I'm going to go big or go home, right? So I'm going to choose something really incredible. And I think that this tote is absolutely beautiful. I love the personality it has. I think you, you can wear it with absolutely everything. It's just really classic and elegant and I love it. So this is called the Fendi Sunshine Tote in the size medium. And the color is called Marron Clair. So it's, it's really beautiful and do I really think I'm gonna buy it one day? No, but I, I can dream. It's, it's gorgeous. And I would be thrilled if I had that in my collection. Number three, I decided to go with Bottega Veneta and I chose the mini Jody in Cinnabar. 
how gorgeous is this color oh my goodness so i have been very drawn to the mini jody for a long time this is the bag i would choose from bottega veneta and that color that color is gorgeous and it's definitely a kind of pink that i'm drawn to um i find bottega veneta has the most vibrant and beautifully saturated colors and that that cinnabar color is everything i just love it this would be a whenever bag right it could be dressy it could be super casual there's it's just an anytime i want grab and go small bag this would be it i love this bag i really truly would love to add this one to my collection it's just gorgeous um love at first sight for this bag so it had to be in my fun top five choices in number four i chose a everyday crossbody bag so i went back to fendi for this one and this bag really is on my wish list and it is the fendi moonlight bag in the black leather it has that gold um that gold uh, clasp at the front and it has a beautiful tortoise shell on the bottom and it's that beautiful rounded shape that i absolutely love for a crossbody kind of like my portobello's it has a beautiful tan suede lining on the inside this bag is beautiful there's nothing i do not love about this bag I would love to be able to afford it. It's really gorgeous. Um, I think it's a bag that's perfect for an everyday crossbody bag. Definitely, it could fit everything I need to carry. It could be super casual. It's not a dressy bag, but you could still kind of pull it off if you're a little bit like dressier. Um, it's just gorgeous. I absolutely love this bag, and I had to. I had to choose it last but definitely not least i decided to go for dior and i chose this small lady dior in gold tone metallic gold hardware and the heart quilting canage print it is stunning i love this bag me who loves hearts i love i love hearts so so much this bag has drawn me in I love the metallic. I've wanted a Lady Dior for so long and it really is in my wish list and it really is a goal for me to get a Lady Dior in my collection. And if I had the money right now, I would run to get this bag while it's, you know, available because I'm sure it's limited edition, but it's absolutely stunning. I I really love it. This would be my special occasion bag right i don't think this is an everyday bag but it's i would still make it work i think <laughs> it's just so gorgeous and it has this soft taupe kind of colored leather strap you can choose the um letters or symbols if you want to put your initials on the strap it's it's gorgeous i absolutely love this bag and i would be honored to have this one in my collection so there you go. Those are my five choices. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what your five choices would be in the comments below. I am going to write in the description box who I'm going to tag. I need to kind of see who's been tagged already or not. And if I don't tag you, but you would love to do this video, please consider yourselves tagged by me and let me know that you're doing it so that I make sure to go check out your video. So thank you so much, Dal Baigwani, for tagging me. I had a lot of fun going through my, my wish list to kind of see which bags I would want to include. And thanks, Nick, for creating this tag. I mean, it was so much fun. It's a great idea. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you do like my videos, please consider joining my, my little YouTube family. I think we have a lot of fun here. So thank you so, so much for being here and I'll see you very, very soon.